The battle continued today to force Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart to comply with new COVID-19 jail guidelines. WGN's Marcella Raymond live with the latest on that. Marcella. Hi, Joe Micah. Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart says that uh, federal oversight of the jail's um, COVID-19 procedures will cause the department irreparable harm and interfere with its day-to-day -day operations. Sheriff Dart says the Cook County Jail is already complying with CDC guidelines, but the lawyers for two detainees want proof. We as advocates, as members of the public, are simply not required to take the sheriff's word at what mm. he's doing. In a hearing today, attorneys for the sheriff argued that the scrutiny is burdensome. The sheriff's position is that he shouldn't be subject to federal court oversight. Mm and that he will do these things on his own. Jamal Cannon is recovering from COVID-19. I talked with his wife, Tanika, about a month ago. He tells her conditions at the jail haven't improved much since then. You have the manpower to, to make sure that they're okay, to make sure that they're getting well. Why are you not doing it? Tanika says Jamal has not been able to get cleaning supplies and is in a cell where he can't social distance. It's like their hands are tied. You know, they can't force them to give them cleaning supplies. All they can do is ask. So Sheriff Dart is now appealing that judge's decision to not get so much oversight over the what, what the jail is doing to combat COVID-19. 800 people in the jail, 500 inmates, 300 um, of the employees have already tested positive. 10 have died. Judge will hear the case again next week. Reporting from home, Marcella Raymond, WGN News.